All right, so now let's start with this uh, swing written versus played. Now this is where a lot of students get into trouble because um, you know, what, a lot of times when we write swing, we write it just as eighth notes, right? Now if we take a look at this first example, what I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna use this uh, shuffle down here. This is a real good thing to work on because the shuffle rhythm is kind of difficult to get the coordination between the two hands. So we're gonna do a couple of exercises using that shuffle rhythm and we're also gonna do, I'm gonna do one on the uh, New Orleans thing and then we're gonna do kind of, little funky thing as well. So a couple of different um, coordination exercises for you. Um, just understand, I'm gonna put this as a beginner lesson, all right? Some of this stuff is gonna be a little bit more complicated than a beginner. But the reason I say it's beginner is because all of these concepts you want to start to learn and understand as a beginner. If you can't play the examples, that's really, to be honest with you, just secondary. All right, whether or not you can play them. The most important thing is do you understand the concepts, and I think it's great that you see me apply these concepts to these different examples, okay? So that's why it's listed as a beginner lesson. So don't worry if you can't play all of the examples, all right? Um, all right, so when we play that shuffle rhythm, that shuffle bass down there, this is how it sounds. But if I play what's written, I wrote it in two different measures on that first line, okay? So there's the first measure is written like this. And the second measure is, okay? Now, the first measure is how we would normally write the shuffle rhythm. Well, why? Take a look at the second measure. See all those triplets and eighth res and flags and res, you know, like it looks much more complicated in the second measure, but then it's more to have to write, okay? I could tell you even using a software program, it's more difficult to write in all the triplets and stuff like that. It just takes more time. Um, so it's more complicated, it's more time consuming, and it just clutters up the page much more. So usually you'll see, you know, written just plain old eighth notes, but then it'll say swung, or it might say shuffle, right? Might say something like even like blues, right? And that's where you start to know these different styles of music, what kind of rhythm you would have. If it's a shuffle, it's gonna be triplet based. Triplet, 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 triplet. If it's like just a jazz, ba -doom, doom, 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 that's gonna be uh, still triplet based as well because it's gonna be swing. D ba d ba d ba d ba d ba d ba. Okay? If you don't know what I mean by the D bas, definitely check out that Mastering Rhythms lesson. If you haven't done that lesson, I would suggest doing it. There's a lot of great rhythmic stuff in there. And that's another important thing. Uh, for coordination. If you don't have your rhythms down, then you're not going to be able to play hands together. Okay, so first thing is to understand that we write things differently sometimes than how they are played, right? So this is where start to listen to different styles of music and you should ask yourself one question. Are they swinging the eighth note or are they playing it straight? Okay. So now when you listen to it, does it sound like that, 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 you know, so like when you're listening to, uh, let's, let, let's say, I don't know, uh, um, a, a pianist play some kind of blues. Hey, you know, it's in like kind of maybe more of a jazz star. Does that sound how they, how they do it or? Probably more like that, right? And that's swung, D ba D ba D ba D ba. So that again is based upon that triplet feel. The triplet eighth note, the eighth rest, with the other triplet eighth, eighth note. Okay. Um, whereas if you listen to something like uh, you know Jerry Lee Lewis, you're right, right? I'm trying to remember like the left hand. Oh, wait. You hear how that da 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 Yeah, that's more straight. da 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 You hear that that's more straight, right? When you hear the, um... Now, 
Now this one is a little bit more difficult because you might think that that's swung, but it's actually straight. It's not, listen to if I swung it. It doesn't, doesn't sound right, does it, okay? Uh, what if I do something funky? Right? That's more straight. If I were to swing it, right? It sounds a little bit off, doesn't it? Okay? So certain styles of music are going to have straight eighth notes and certain styles are going to have swung eighth notes. Jazz, blues, um, like shuffle kind of blues, often swung. Uh, more like a uh, rock blues or a New Orleans blues, a lot of times more of that straight eighth note pattern. Uh, rock, usually like a straight eighth note. Funk, usually a straight eighth note as well. Okay, So start to listen for those differences in the swung versus straight. And then as we move on in this uh, lesson, you're going to see why those differences make a difference. All right, so I'll see you in the next chapter.